with us. All right, the taste of Spain is coming right here to Lexington at West Six Brewing by way of their Feast of Seven Fishes beer dinner. I don't Correct. know if those two have ever gone together. Yeah, so this is our fifth annual Feast of Seven Fishes. Um, it's one of our biggest beer dinners of the year, and it's always a huge holiday feast with Smithtown Seafood. And this year, we're excited to have a Spanish theme well, and mix it up a little bit. We're excited to have you here. Let me introduce, yeah. this is Kelly from West Six. You're no stranger to the midday set. Correct. All right, as soon as I saw this uh, extravaganza, I found it on your website. Uh -huh. I was like, mm, calling you immediately because... It's so cool that you're doing something so different. We do our traditional yep. holiday, you know, turkey. I'm not dissing it, but to bring in another culture yeah. like this. Absolutely. And this was really inspired by our friends at Smithtown Seafood. Um, chef Agnes Marrero, she's the head chef at Smithtown Seafood, working directly with Wita Michael to create a menu that's going to be fresh and invigorating and with lots of great flavors, flown in seafood all inspired by Spain, and it's actually inspired by an Italian theme called Feast of Seven Fishes. That's what I was going to say. And yeah. I like that you're doing a little bit of a twist on that. Yeah. And the seafood is so fresh that we wanted some on the show today, and it's not being flown in until no. next week. No. So, so I brought the that, beer instead. We, but hey, and we're not, we're not unhappy with that. What can we expect at the dinner as far as, yeah. you know, because if anybody's ever had, like, real Spanish food, you might want to move to Spain immediately. Yes. Because it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, and I think... For expectations for this dinner, um, it's basically a one-ticket price. You get beer, you get food. There's going to be tapas right at the beginning. So it's going to be a huge spread of all of these seafood-inspired tapas, which are like small bites paired with beers. Um, and then you'll have a plate of dinner as well. Which is amazing. Now, yeah. let's go through this process of yeah. pairing the beer yes. with the seafood. Whose job is that? Well, <laughs> it's a group of us, okay. um, kind of the brewers and the people running the event. How do we sign up for that job? Just yeah, and I mean, we've done so many beer dinners now that it's really fun, and we love getting everybody's feedback on what types of beer go with different types of food. And I think beer pairings are just can be just as elevated as wine pairings. Absolutely. Yep. So what are we looking at for this dinner? What are yeah, we so I brought our Christmas sale, which is not at the dinner, uh, but it's our seasonal right now, which you can find. It's, it's dwindling on the shelves. But I brought our Tall, Dark, and Barrel-Aged. It's a really great barrel-aged offering that's going to be going with the dessert at the end. Spiced, has some really nice dark flavors to it. Maybe we'll have Dr. Stillwell come join us. And it's this. bourbon barrel aged. What's better than bourbon barrel aged here in Kentucky? That's, you know what? Dr. Stillwell, come on up. He's not going to be mic'd, but we're going to let him try oh, it. Oh, we've he's got here. a friend. Just while, Fabulous. Just while we're talking about this. Since you're not allowed. You're, you're not mic'd, so you have, to, you have to just enjoy. You can just be silent. I'm just going to have my taste. Yes. Your smile is so good. Yeah, so it's, How it's do we barrel taste aged. Beer? It's, I ask you this yeah. all the time, but is it just like a wine you know, tasting? It is similar in ways. Beers have tons of great aromatics, um, all depending on the different style of beer. So, you know, your hoppy beers, you're going to get lots of like fruit forward notes, uh, some more um, kind of juicy uh, flavors. And then with some of these darker barrel aged beers, you're going to smell things like toasted bread, um, bourbon itself. Here, give it a smell. smell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you'll smell the bourbon, oh, you'll smell wow, kind of a really molasses, did. and this one is um, a quad style, so it's a little bit higher in alcohol, um, but you don't really taste it because it's been aged in bourbon barrels. Um, so you're going to get the burn of the bourbon and not necessarily the beer itself. And this is going with your dessert? Yeah, this will be with the dessert pairing right at the end, which will be delicious. Lots of calories. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> calories do not count over Christmas, okay. Dr. Stone. Yeah, well. and I think, I think the biggest thing about this dinner is we've done it every year. It's a tradition for us. It's a tradition for Smithtown Seafood. And it's a community gathering, so it's, it's really about bringing people in. There's always folks that have done beer dinners before, new folks as well, and it's just a really nice intimate setting. Well, and it's really cool. What's your biggest reaction, I guess, when people come, and what are they expecting? Is it different, or is it the yeah. food, the beer, all I of it? I think what people expect and what people actually have always changes. They're always like, wow, I didn't realize it was going to be so much food. I didn't realize the beers were going to match so well with the dish that I'm eating right now. Right. Even if you're taking a small sip of beer and you're having a bite with that food, just the way the flavor combinations work, I think always surprises people. And probably with seafood as well because there's yeah. just so much going on there. And, and there's so, so much fresh. more you can do with seafood than what we, Smithtown Seafood does normally. Um, they're really trying to elevate and show that you know, really good fresh seafood, fresh vegetables, locally grown vegetables, and locally made beer um, go really great together. It really, really does. How yeah. do we get tickets to this event? Yeah, so just visit our website, www.west6.com slash feast of seven. Um, and uh, you can also find it on our Facebook page as and well. And your menu's on there as well. So yeah, you can menu's check out on that. there. Get on our Facebook page. Um, you'll find those tickets online. Um, and it's $55, includes beer, 
tons of food. Um, it'll be a really great time. So I hope you can join us. Cannot beat that. Thank you yeah, so much for being absolutely. here. Thank you for bringing your Christmas absolutely. ale. Absolutely. This Always is for the staff in. for later. We didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.